Uh, hello and greetings uh, on this extremely important day in your lives. It is all rather strange uh, that you are graduating uh, remotely, I suppose. Uh, and in one sense that's uh, disappointing in that you can't all congregate together with your family and friends to celebrate this most important uh, day in your lives. On the other hand, in years to come, you will be able to say that hopefully uniquely, uh, you were the only uh, class to graduate uh, remotely. In any event, uh, whether you graduate together uh, or whether you graduate remotely, this is a most important day in your lives and a very important day uh, for your family and your friends. And you should take great pride in the achievement uh, that has brought you to this uh, point. The pride, of course, that you feel today is, as I've said, shared by uh, your families and your friends. Uh, today is emphatically a day for celebration. Uh, like many of you, I was fortunate enough uh, to be able to shout uh, with uh, my family. Uh, but it is right that you and I should uh, acknowledge uh, the uh, enormous debt that we and you uh, owe uh, to those who have uh, supported you throughout the last years to bring you to this pinnacle of success. As you embark on your new graduate lives, you may harbour a sense of foreboding for it is now the received wisdom of many contemporary commentators uh, that the uh, nature or the future for humankind uh, is unremittingly gloomy. Uh, we are afflicted by conflicts throughout the world. We are in the grip of the worst pandemic uh, to have uh, affected us uh, for more than a century and a profound recession is predicted and we are embarked upon, it is said, a remorseless uh, in a journey towards the destruction of our planet with global warming and environmental decay. I cannot share uh, in these uh, gloomy uh, prognostications. And I draw on re recent history to sustain my descent from them. The past 60 years have seen the reversal of uh, totalitar totalitarianism in many parts of the world. Uh, they have uh, witnessed the enactment of enlightened uh, civil rights legislation uh, to the world's premier uh, power. In our own beloved country, after many dark days, we have emerged into the light of what must surely be a lasting peace. The fair employment legislation and enactments forbidding discrimination on the grounds of gender or political uh, or religious persuasion uh, have wrought a new, fairer society where opportunity is available to all uh, who wish to seize it. And I have no doubt that you, the most recent crop of young graduates, is well placed to do precisely that. I've had the privilege uh, in my career uh, to get to know many young people, uh, uh, many young people engaged in professional careers. I've had the great good fortune to have two sons 
and I have met a legion of their friends. And I have become convinced that today's generation is every bit as idealistic, they're just as ambitious, equally clever, they're innovative, intelligent, and determined to do the to do good as any that has gone before. And so this is not a time for despair or pessimism. Of course there will be difficult times ahead, but I am utterly convinced that the strength of the human spirit is as alive today in the hearts and minds of our young people as it has ever been. Some things, however, are different. You now stand, as I did in 1969, and possibly a long time ago, when I left university. Although I didn't realise it at the time, you now stand, as I did then, on the threshold of a life with full of promise and opportunity. After COVID-19 has been conquered, the chances that you will have to travel, uh, to sample what the entire world uh, has to offer, to exploit technology to its full advantage in whatever career you have chosen, and to set about the serious business of enjoying life to the full are vastly greater than enjoyed by your parents. And that is entirely as it should be. It should be the lot of succeeding generations to benefit from the experience of their parents and to improve upon and enrich those experience, experiences uh, by pushing the boundaries uh, yet further than did we. And therefore my wish for you today is to enter into and enjoy the rest of your lives with the bedrock that this wonderful university has provided. In whatever career you choose, pursue it with enthusiasm, commitment and above all, inspiration, provided that is you remember that wonderful French writer's uh, injunction, Baudelaire, his phlegmatic injunction was, inspiration comes of working every day. I give you my best wishes.